All right, it's day five, and uh, it's our last full day here. No, uh, no video on day four, sorry. We were actually had a lot of work to do. And when the work was done, I just rested a bit, and then we got together with my friend Chris, and that was awesome. Him and Richard came over for pizza. Calumet Pizza Works, really good. Uh, yeah, so here we are on day five. I had some work this morning. I have some more this afternoon. Uh, but then we're gonna get the place, um, you know, tidied up and everything, but it's an Airbnb. Oh boy, here we go into the sunlight anyways we're gonna clean up a little bit pack the car and all that uh, we just ate at Kaliba cafe and it saddens me to inform you that it's not nearly as good as it was uh, we had to wait a long time to get seated okay that's fine well, if they're busy they were kind of busy but um, I can put up with that but once we sat down to go out and get our order in we just got our order in, it took a long time. In fact, another table came over and said, did they forget you? <sighs> no, we're just gonna wait. Then when they brought our food out, my omelet did not look very good at all. In fact, I didn't even eat half of it. And they, anyways, probably not going back to Kaliba. Sorry, and I don't recommend it anymore. So right now we are on our way to, what's that called? KC Bonkers, I think. Yeah, it's a toy store. So, hopefully we'll have a turn in our luck here. Things look up a little bit, but yeah. This is downtown Hancock, by the way. All right, Casey Bonkers Toys and Coffee. Let's check it out. Yeah. Cursing and the use of foul language is strictly prohibited while on these premises. Those who fail to comply will be required to eat a bar soap. <laughs> what are we finding over there, Faye? Um, lots of cool stuff. Lots of cool stuff? <laughs> Hold on a minute. I need to see the cool stuff. Okay, here's a prank um, puzzle box. <laughs> I'm thinking my mom, we gotta get her that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Like you put, your, yeah. put your real gift inside. That's great. Now, you know you're somebody. Yeah when Darth Vader sends you a autograph. Dear Kay, Casey, best wishes, love Darth. Okay, that store is pretty cool. I didn't get as much footage because I got caught by a phone call, but um, anyways, yeah, we're heading out. I don't know, where, where are we going now? Uh, I'd be okay with going to the same hall again. Okay. Would it be okay to bring your Let's phone? go see. Okay, well, we decided to check out the uh, Community Arts Center. It's open. And they are open. Go check it out. All right, well, I'm back in the car. The uh, girls decided to go into St. Vincent de Paul one more time. I've seen enough. Uh, <laughs> the uh, toy store was good. The um, Hello. Wow, that was a gorgeous car. That was a 57 Chevy. Anyways, the uh, arts store was really good. And uh, my phone keeps going off with work coming in. And so the deadlines, they loom and the clients need their voiceovers. So yeah, we're heading back to the Airbnb. Time to go to work. Okay, well, time for one more trip out need to go pick up another pizza actually that one last night was so good we're gonna get another one tonight and then um, a couple knickknacks and whatnot at the store snacks for the trip back and who knows what else but right, it's our last little foray out here into uh, Calumet Lorium during the daylight hours well here's our next to the last stop of course it had to be another dollar type of store Okay, well, I guess that wraps up this trip to the Keweenaw in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. We're uh, full of pizza and just getting packed up. We're going to load up the car tonight, so we just got to kind of get up in the morning and go. So, yeah, it's been good. This has been a great Airbnb. If you're interested in it, just shoot me a message and um, I'll tell you which one it is. 
I think one of my observations of being up here this week is um, a lot of the houses here, like especially in Lorium, they're um, not owned by people who live here. Uh, it was funny, we were downstairs in the steps last night, I was talking to Chris a bit, and he was pointing out this house and that house, and how yeah, they're only up here for one week a year, and these people here, they only come up here twice a year. And uh, I thought that was sad. One person told me that when uh, the COVID hit, that a lot of people in uh, other places went, ah, where can I go far away from the city, from all this garbage? Here they are. And so a lot of the houses have been uh, snatched up. Um, Kathy and I have noticed a lot of the house prices have, some of them have doubled, which is insane. And apparently they have a lot of um, FIPS here. Sorry, Illinois folks, but a FIP is a freaking Illinois people. <laughs> we have a lot of them in Southwest Michigan and apparently uh, quite a few up here. So uh, the people from like Chicago and People make a lot, like a lot of money. Come up here and they see a house for eighty or hundred thousand and go, yeah, I could live up there. Especially if they can work remote now, because they've got fast internet here with Spectrum. So, yeah, I think it's just kind of sad that some of the house prices are getting out of the price. You know, the the ability of local people to even own a house here, which is really too bad. On a more positive note, we're heading back tomorrow. It's going to be about a 10 hour drive and I think we're pretty recharged, kind of ready to get back at it. I have some work that I um, was able to uh, delay working on until this weekend. So, and I'm booked the first part of next week. So we did plenty of work up here. I mean, we more than paid for the time away. I mean, as far as the lodging and the gas and food and even souvenirs. So. Yeah, it was a good week. It was a really good week. Had a good time. And, um, yeah. Who knows? Maybe next time we come up here, we'll be driving a U-Haul. I don't know. God's will. Anyways, until next time, take care and God bless.